Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Not the video I was planning on making today, but we have had a fair amount of sales. They're not uh, they're not all amazing sales, but they're all uh, ticking through, which is nice, which is what we want in January because a lot of people are not having very much success. Now, yeah, I, I managed to get some pickups yesterday and the day before I had um an xbox bundle i picked up for 30 pounds it was the xbox slim black version uh with a load of games controller i opened it up and there was a 250 gigabyte uh hd whatever it's supposed to called hard drive in there that's the one couldn't think of the word then for a second um and yeah so that is all going to be listed i would show you but it's already been taken across to the storage room. However, yesterday, or not yesterday, day before yesterday now, I picked up this big bundle of um, Scooby-Doo toys. So I will show you those. So I've actually compartmented them into little groups. So of course we have two of these, I think they're called mystery machines, um, vans. So what I've done is I've split it into different sections. So this is going to be one listing with one mystery machine. And then obviously you open it up. Uh, there's one complete set of characters in there. So we have, uh, I would go through the names, but I didn't really ever watch Scooby Doo, believe it or not. Uh, I think this guy's Fred. And then there's like Velma and uh, Shaggy and Scooby and whatever. Um, I don't know what the other woman is called. Uh, but yeah, so that is one set. I have to be careful because it doesn't shut up very well. Um, that is one set. I don't know exactly how much I'm going to put this up for. Uh, probably around the £20 mark of this set here. Probably about the same sort of price for this one. Obviously, the vans are slightly different. Uh, this is more a cartoony version. And this one has like loads of traps and stuff inside. I would open it, but it will fall out. And then we have the characters, same set of characters, again, in there on that one. We also have here a complete bag full of enemies. Uh, so the bad guys, whatever you want to call them, they are in there. So those will all be listed individually rather than as a bundle. Uh, we have these bobbleheads. These are actually from McDonald's this uh, last year, apparently. I looked at the, uh, the little... Um, writing on the back and it says mcdonald's 2020 so uh, i'm not sure why they released a scooby-doo uh, mcdonald's toy in 2020 was there supposed to be a movie come out was there a movie that come out i don't know did i miss something uh i'm not sure but yeah these are from 2020 so um there's actually two dogs in there so two uh scooby-doos and there's velma and uh, shaggy so i'll do a shaggy and scooby and then i'll do a velma and scooby bundle on them they probably won't bring much because they're mcdonald's but maybe these were unreleased i don't know i don't remember seeing these advertised but i don't know we have an extra set of uh, a scooby and a fred i think that's his name a complete set of the characters left over as well so they will get listed uh, as one bundle and then we have this kind of a uh, trap team car so scooby's in there uh, and this is a pull back and go car so you pull it back and then um pull it back and then the wheels go and this is like a trap so you have that open and then when the character touches that little bit on the inside it closes around them so pretty cool uh so yeah so that was my pickup for yesterday or the day before i can't remember now times all like merging into one with this lockdown 3.5 um so yeah i paid 15 pounds for that uh which i think is a really good deal because i think one set of the characters alone will probably bring 15 on its own um and we have obviously the sets with the vans as well the spare set the other bits and bobs that are gonna go with that so really happy with that pickup right so let's go through these sales shall we we'll start from the top so uh, a sale that we have had uh early today is this one here this is yeah this is a sale of uh what is he actually called he's called crash bandicoot cable guy uh so this like rests your phone or your uh nintendo switch or your game controller, I say, I've sold a game controller, here we go, ta-da, uh, so yeah, I bought this for myself, um, actually someone was selling, a funny story, someone was selling a television, a um, small like 17 inch TV, 
um, on Facebook, and I was going to get it for in here for doing uh, testing consoles. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't the one that I needed, but behind the TV, I saw this little fella, and I said to him, uh, are you selling Crash Bandicoot? And he goes, yeah, sure. Uh, what do you want to offer me? I said, oh, I don't know, £10? And he was like, yeah, okay, I'll come drop it off. And he literally come drop it off for a tenner. And uh, yeah, I had it in my room for a while and he was holding my holding my Xbox One controller. But then I was like, you know what? I don't need this. I'm going to sell this. This is just extra clutter in my room. So I shoved it up for £40 or 45 I can't remember. Uh, and, and people have been kind of sending global offers on it. Uh, but I got a £30 offer this morning and I took it. So yeah, I have um, tripled my money on that one. So that is nice, obviously, before fees and all of that good stuff. But yeah, he is going out for £30, uh, which is really nice. So happy to see Mr. Crash finally leave. I say finally, he's not even been here that long, maybe a month, if that. Uh, but there we go. Next up, we have another Skylanders sale. So the other day, you would have seen I bought that big lot of Skylanders. Uh, the other game and like three characters sold already for £20. And I took an offer on this set for £16.50. So this is the other portal and this is the other game. So we already have £36.50 back before listing any of the characters on their own. So we're already uh, about £16 in profit before fees. And I've not listed any of the characters yet. So hopefully those characters can bring a bit of money, maybe £20, £30, uh, all in uh, after they've all sold, and then that will bump my profit up to like 50 maybe £60, something along them lines. That's what I'm hoping for, uh, but I haven't price-checked any of them yet, so whether that will happen or not, I don't know as of yet. Right, moving on, we have a Wazgidge. Waz Gidge puzzle, jigsaw backwards, in case you didn't know, jigsaw backwards. Yep, blew my mind when someone told me. Uh, 8.99 we got for this one, I see, I see, and this is a thousand piece puzzle number 10. So yeah, 8.99, and this came in a big bundle of puzzles I got a while back. Um, probably paid maybe like a pound for this, if that. Uh, so nice one to go out. Always happy when puzzles sell because they're nice and easy to package and get rid of. Right, next up we have Kelly Slater. Uh, Pro Surfer, here we go. This is actually the second time this sold uh, because the first time it sold, the payment didn't go through uh, and I wasn't able to ever ship it out. And uh, it was all really confusing and it was just after I switched over to managed payment so there was a little bit of confusion there from both parties uh because his payment came into my payment pot uh, it was showing up as paid uh but it was just constantly pending and it was telling me not to ship it out yet and ebay had no idea what was going on either so in the end we just decided that we would cancel that order and uh, i gave him a refund because obviously um the, the system was not allowing me to generate a label um, and all of that stuff. So it was all very strange and weird and customer service had no idea what was going on. Uh, and neither did I or the buyer. So that one uh, never went out, but it has sold again for seven pounds, which is kind of, kind of nice. So I'm happy to see that one finally go and payment has cleared, I'm happy to say. Right, next up we have a woolly hat. This is a brand new, bit of fluff there in the, in the hair, get rid of that. This is a brand new with tags, but from Sesame Street, uh, woolly hat, as you can see. <laughs> Pretty cool. Tags on the back there. It was $38 originally, which is kind of crazy. So this has come from the USA. So someone must have gone over to America or something, or maybe they ordered it online. I don't know, but it is an American price tag. So... Either way, it has made its way over to the UK, never been used, it still has tags, and we got £18.99, which I'm very happy with uh, for this one. So this will be uh, making someone's head warm during winter, which is awesome, so good to see that one shift. Next up, we have sold two Xbox 360 controllers here for £23.40. Uh, these are... Uh, powered on but untested controllers. I got them in a big lot 
uh, a while back and uh, two of these have sold so they will be going out of the door uh, today which is nice because uh, I think we have maybe like one or two left in that uh, turned on but untested bundle um, so yeah those will be leaving and this is like the sixth and the seventh controller from that lot that has gone out so uh, next up we have another jumper so all these jumpers I bought a few months back uh, during the well, towards the end of summer, I would say, um, they were all showing up in the charity shop and I was buying them for the first time. Uh, stuff like 100% cotton, um, cashmere if I could find it, or percentage cashmere, um, and what's it called? Marina wool or something? I forgot the name of it now. Um, yeah, I bought all of these a while back and they just weren't selling, so I stopped buying them. Obviously, uh, as winter came... Um, they weren't selling still so I was getting a little bit concerned but as soon as literally as soon as the new year happened they started selling it's really weird they weren't even all in one listing they're all individual listings as soon as new year's come this is like the fourth woolly jumper I've sold now so obviously winter before new year wasn't cold enough but now uh this is like the fourth maybe fifth one I have sold so yeah um, I will be investing a lot more this year in jumpers I presume uh, when charities reopen, I will be going full out and buying these because um, if it gives me stuff that sells during the January season, um, that is really good because finding stuff that does well in January when no one has money is sometimes hard. Obviously, gaming and that kind of stuff does well. Uh, but jumpers, everyone's always going to get cold in January, I suppose. So that's why uh, they're doing well. So I'll be stocking up on these this year for next year. Um because they're fairly cheap, like £3 a jumper, and that one sold for 15 so I'm really happy with that one. Right, next up we have Operation Flashpoint, nothing special here, sold for £1.62. Um, that will be a nice feedback if it comes through, which is nice. Uh, oh, next up we have a good one. So the other week I picked up Lego Dimensions on the Xbox One, and this is fully complete other than this this woman here uh, i forgot what her name is she's missing but the base is still there so you can still play this character because the base is still in there but the actual uh, minifig is unfortunately missing nonetheless we managed to score 54 pounds and 99 pence on this one which i'm really happy with because i paid 20 pounds so that means i made 34 pounds and 99 before fees and taxes and all of that good stuff so that is quite a nice one i'm happy uh with that one but yeah like i said fully complete other than that little woman is uh is missing so yes is that gonna fit down there it's not but we can grab our next one anyway which is this high quality collection panorama puzzle uh this is obviously uh, i think is it disney pixar yeah disney pixar cars uh panorama and it's a thousand piece and this one got eight pounds and nine pence so nothing special on that one but it is a sale and last but not least we have a set of four sing stars on the playstation 2 here so we have what do we have r b pop world anthems and 80s so four right there so those are the sale oh sorry we got nine pounds for them uh those are the sales that we have had since yesterday or since parcels went out yesterday uh which is nice a uh, fair amount of sales obviously it's january so my sales are slacking a little bit compared to what i would have had pre 2021 but i'm happy with the amount that i have had uh, one thing I will say is I watched a video from Cookie and Hayden um, and he mentioned that he started a um, price drop sale, whatever it's called, was it, I can't remember what it's called, you know the sale that you do where it puts the slash through your price and shows a, a, a lower price and he was having issues like no sales were coming through while his sale was running and uh, I had a sale running and I went and checked and yeah that was happening to me as well so I turned that off and uh, as soon as I turned that off I had a hundred and eighty pound day um, from the previous day which was like 30 pounds I had a trash day like 32 pounds and then I watched his video 
and I disabled my sale and um, and yeah 180 pound date so I'm not sure um, whether the good day was because when you cancel your sale it kind of like gives all of your listings that were on a sale like a new number and it bumps them back to the top or whether there was actually an issue with that sale I'm not sure how that works but yeah had a, a couple of really bad days with that cell running and then as soon as I turned it off it went really well so uh, thank you to um, to you for making that video I really appreciate it um, I think it's car boot Chris I think his name he goes by um, I always I'm terrible with names terrible with names but thank you if you're watching this video I appreciate it uh, that really helped me out um, whether there was an actual correlation there or not I don't know but the perceived perceived correlation was there nonetheless anyway uh yes so that happened and i had a really good day uh and this is the next day after that so yeah what i'm going to be doing today is uh packing these and i'll ship these out and i need to clean this room because i still have loads of stuff in it that needs to over to the other room and uh yeah i will be trawling through facebook for the rest of the day looking for pickups because obviously uh, the pickups don't just come to you all the time, so you have to go out and find them yourself. Um, yeah, thank you everyone for watching. I think the next video is going to be car booty, uh, so stick around for that one uh, because I know people are um, missing the car boot, should I say. So there will be a car boot video coming up on the channel fairly soon. Yes, thank you very much for watching today, guys. I really appreciate it. And uh, leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and we, of course, will see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. Oh, also, Instagram. Instagram and Discord links are in the description. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.